Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this very special edition of your Daily Dose of Awesome. Uh, my name is Fernie Sabalas and I have an amazing guest here today, a, a longtime mentor of mine, an incredible woman uh, of mentor, mentor, and seven-figure earner in the network marketing space. I have Lisa Grossman. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you great. I'm trying to find us in the news suite because this is new to me, this technology. Always oh. something new with technology. Well, no, no worries. Uh, you you have a, a few moments because I just want to quickly do an intro for everyone on Facebook Live, uh, and especially those who are new and, and and don't know who we are. My name is Fernie Sabalas. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert specializing in helping home business owners, that's network marketers, affiliate marketers, direct sellers, multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, I built my first uh, six-figure direct selling business uh, within a couple of years of discovering the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro. And over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $12 million in gross income into my home businesses and have helped our clients produce hundreds of millions of dollars collectively in their businesses in the network marketing, direct selling, and uh, online entrepreneur space. So, uh, and a special entrepreneur we have here today as a guest uh, to talk about the future of network marketing and a very special event that she's going to be speaking at that we're hosting uh, called the No Excuses Summit. And so... Uh, Lisa, how's it going? Like, you know, what's new in your world? <laughs> wow, there is so much. <laughs> I am here in the U.S. Uh, long as I have been home in five years, continuously. Really? I am in Hong Kong on Monday, and then on the following Sunday, I go to the Czech Republic and into Europe to do some things. What's new in my world is network marketing is alive and well and global, speaking all over the place, having fun with people, and watching it change. As you know, they say everything the changes and everything stays the same. And I think that we're seeing that you know, that living alive and well and coming true. So Absolutely. I'm having fun. Awesome. And yeah, and so we're so the I chose the topic of uh, the future of network marketing specifically because of a conversation that we had just a couple of days ago on some some schemes that we're running. <laughs> but uh, you've had uh, the the ability to mentor, not just the ability, but the opportunity to mentor uh, countless top earners in the space. I mean, you're a mentor of mentors. You consult with network marketing companies in addition to being a top uh, producer yourself. And so I, the first question I have for you is, uh, what do you see for the future of network marketing, specifically as it relates to what's available to us technology-wise with social media, the internet, uh, you know, the gadgets we all have access to? What's going to stay the same, and what's going to what's going to what opportunities exist for people that want to build their direct selling or network marketing businesses online? Well, you know, it's interesting because I always say that technology changes and human nature never does. So, on the one hand, I think that technology has always offered incredible opportunity to extend your reach. And I think that the ability to reach more people more efficiently, more effectively, more economically, you know, success loves speed and the world is waiting. So I think that technology is wonderful, but it can also be relatively confusing. And what I think as time goes on, is that it, it gets simplified, so it becomes masses friendly. And I, I think I've seen that really lend itself to aiding network marketing because I think years ago when you first started, you're an engineer and you're techno savvy, and I think you were able to do things to accelerate your business that helped you to reach more people that you could talk to, but maybe necessarily couldn't duplicate for them what you were able to do to reach them. Maybe they couldn't use as easily. And I think that that's changing. I think that more and more their technology is becoming something that can be masses friendly. I think that that's represented in something like Facebook. The whole world is on Facebook. The whole world, um, you know, can use Twitter. I don't know that they do. The president seems to have made it quite popular, but you know, it's 140 characters and it's a simple thing that you can, you can put into your process. And now, People are learning how to teach people how to use these things that everybody's a part of anyway to in order to grow and accelerate their businesses. And I think that that's, you know, rapidly accelerating the growth of network marketing. So that's the upside. The downside, of course, is there's so much stuff coming at you. There's so much noise in the marketplace, so much 24 hours a day that it can again become confusing. So 
getting with people that can help you simplify it and lay out your process. I always say that if the process works, the results will be fine. And if you've got a good process, you can change the components within the process and, and the results will be good. But you have to have good process before anything else. Yep, spoken like a true engineer. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Process. I, but the, this is this is what I I start, when I first got into network marketing, and of course I, I was taught you know go find more people, make a list, etc. Um, you know, very little training was done, given to me in the form of a process, and I craved the process because that's how I've been trained previously. And uh, it wasn't until I went online and learned you know marketing skill sets that. I discovered a process for, for selling and building. And so, but, and so that's why I appreciate the value of a process. It's not about the technology. It's not about the gadget or the tactic. Uh, uh, you know, the process I, I believe will, will fundamentally always stay the same, whether it's selling, recruiting, uh, or whatever. Um, my question for you is what do you, what are you seeing out there right now? Uh, cause you, again, you have insight and inside knowledge on, on how many people build their businesses. Uh, what are you seeing out there right now that's working for people as it relates to Facebook or anything else that you see working, uh, uh, you know, using um, technology and social media? But I want to go back to the other thing just to break it down real simply so sure. people understand about this process thing. Because people like you, like my business partner, Curse, who are engineers, sometimes things that are so simple conceptually to you, other people hear it and they don't really understand it. So let me say what I understand when I say process. Because even the make a list is a process. It just wasn't a complete one. I don't, you know, if you have a dishwasher, that's how you wash your dishes. And I have one here. I don't have one in Hong Kong. But you have, you eat, you have dirty dishes. And you wash dishes, you dry dishes, and you put dishes away. And that's process. And that process has been around ever since there were dishes. So when a dishwasher comes along, the process is the same. But now the dishwasher will want you now rinse the dishes, you don't have to wash them and dry them manually anymore because the dishwasher will do that for you. And then to now rinse dishes, put in dishwasher, dishwasher washes, dishwasher dries, you take out and you put away. The process has remained the same. The only thing that has changed is that you've replaced the manual washing and drying with the dishwasher. So that's what I'm saying and that's what I think Fernie is saying is that if you have a process that makes sense, then you're always looking for ways to improve the process with technology because it saves time. And if you can compress time, you can get more done and you can reach more people. And so in network marketing, there is a basic process that works and that's about connecting with people. And I think that that's where we always look to aid, have technology aid us. And I think that what's really helped technology explode network marketing is Facebook and social media and bringing that into it because a lot of what initially worked online helped sell things. And while selling things is certainly a part of network marketing, product is definitely moving, the success of network marketing is building and working through a network. And networking involves human interaction and that's what you see happening on Facebook. That's what you see happening in social media. And that's not really what you necessarily see happening in a sales process only. A sales piece, a sales process is like the end of a long process. It's one piece of network marketing, but it's only one piece. And when you only have that piece, that's transactional. And transactional alone does not for a successful network marketing business make. It's a one-time thing, a sale. And social media and finding people that can help you take technology and use social media to accelerate the growth of networks and the interaction between networks and the communication between networks and the um, training and coaching and um, information exchange between networks. Now that is what's making network marketing go through the world, not only in the United States, but what's enabling it to spread globally because we now have a global community that is possible. And what I see working as was, what is always where network marketing is about community and now done properly through social media, community is exploding beyond you know, the local community or the things that normally brought us together the, so that we can now build global communities and global empires you know, th with using a cell phone. I used to say from a spare bedroom in your house with a phone, but now it's from wherever you're standing on the world with a cell phone and who knows where it'll go next. Right, and, and an interesting thing, uh, 
So you're absolutely right. Like what internet marketers were, were doing uh, back in the day was one part of the entire, uh, you know, the entire equation. It was, it was a process for selling. And that's essentially what, you know, what recruiting and enrolling is. It's like, it's a form of sales. Um, but we, people were only doing a part of it. And I think one of the reasons why they were stuck there is because uh, they weren't very uh, great tools for building communities online until social media started uh, growing. So now the online marketer, the social media recruiter, the, the just, you know, offline recruiter ha now has the ability to transfer people from the selling process into the enrollment and getting started and community building process. Is that, is that pretty accurate? Yeah, I think what I'm saying is, you know, recruiting is definitely a part of network marketing. But what I always tell people is many people think that's all there is. And if you believe that that's all there is, then you will make that come true. You will forever be recruiting and you will be recruiting to replace those that are leaving. And it becomes a self-fulfilling you know, perpetual recruiting machine. And it doesn't have to be because in network marketing, if you recruit and teach and recruit and enroll and teach and train and replicate yourself. And it's not that every person that you enroll is going to become you and that's all a fallacy. But if you are creating a community that everybody wants to be a part of and within that community, you have a place for everyone, but it also includes a place for the person who wants to go to wherever it is, whatever heights to which they want to climb, to get that education and get that connection and be able to then, you know, join you in the process of growing the community and so on and such forth. You don't have to recruit a lot of people directly because you're recruiting in depth and that's where the exponential growth comes in. I've built enormous businesses and although I am a good recruiter, I have built enormous businesses without doing that much personal recruiting because I learned that when I found somebody that I could work through to reach other people, et cetera, to stop and build that out. Because one person who can open up a big community or a big group of people is worth more um, short term and long term than if I can just go get a bunch of sales transactions. And what would happen to a lot of people not understanding this is they'd sign up so many people so quickly that they get that they would lose these people chasing those people and never really know what they had. Because when you've got somebody who's ready to learn and go, you have to be there to go with them. And if you got so many people, how can you? And with tools today, again that becomes possible because you can create through automation that which allows you to work with those you should be working with in a group setting, to work with them in a group setting, giving you more time to work with those that you need to be working with individually, individually. And that's always been a big thing for me. You know, I don't care what business you're in and I don't care if you're working in an offline, online, a combination of the two. I don't care if you go back to the dawn of time. 80%, 85% of production is always going to come from 10 to 15, 20% of the people. And you have to be able to spend the majority of your time with those that are doing them, which are going to be responsible for the majority of the leadership and production. And if you don't have systems to be able to work with, you know, the bulk of the people in group settings, then you're going to not have enough of you to make anything work. So when you're talking about, so I want to, I want to actually, uh, dive into that point about systems for working with people like what so what role is social media now playing like facebook groups or fan pages or personal profiles what are those tools what role are those tools playing in helping people create those systems for uh what happens after you recruit somebody for building of that community and and helping people uh you know get moving in their business well you know, I don't work for Facebook, so I'm always loath to give them, you know, so much credit. And I certainly still have a love affair with Google in many ways. But what, let's take Facebook groups, for example. And by the way, let me stress that culture in all organizations is any, everything. So a group is, a group can become whatever you allow it to become. It is just a piece of technology. So let me say that up front. But you can, you can put people, into a Facebook group. So now you've you've put you've walled in or you've opened up a room, just like I would open up a meeting room, let's say, where I invite people over to get them acclimated to what it is we're going to do together. But in the real world, 
I could invite people over to my house I, or to a meeting room, and I could do a meeting, and Fernie could have even, and this, again, is the, I guess it's the growth of technology, and we always see how technology is helping business. Because once upon a time, Fernie could have videoed that meeting, I suppose, and we could have sent it to everybody. If they couldn't be at the meeting, watch this. And that was better than me being having to try to get to everywhere in the world and do the meeting, certainly. But today, in a Facebook group, I can bring everybody together and I can do a Facebook Live or upload a video or whatever it is into that meeting. And not only is it accessible 24 hours a day to everybody on demand the minute that they join that group, but everybody within that group is there to help that person and answer their questions. I can put forms in that group. I can change the forms at will. So it is an on-demand library on the one hand. It is an on-demand mentor on demand, um, peer on demand resource of people. It is a community so that nobody is alone. It is a call all hands on deck if you want to do instantaneous training. It is everything in one place. It is also a place that people who are brand new can bring their new people and ask for support because they don't know what they don't know and what are they supposed to know. All that can be done within this piece of technology that's free. And you know what? Everybody's on Facebook. So you have the added thing of saying, if someone's your friend, boom, I don't have to get somebody to go join Facebook so that I can join them to the group. It is a one-stop shop. It doesn't get any easier. But here's the thing. Now we have the human factor. It's so easy to do. It keeps getting easier to do. You know what else? It's easy not to do. And here's the downside of technology. As it's easier to engage more and more people, it becomes easier to be left behind if you choose not to do these very simple steps because it becomes easier and I don't like this and I hate this and I don't want this to be true, but it becomes easier for people to become disposable because there are so many people out there. And that's what you want to guard against because network marketing to excel is to always remember that it's about people. It's a numbers, it's, you know, people are not numbers, but it's a numbers game. And when you lose sight of people, which can also happen when technology can bring so many people to you, it can, in the long term, be detrimental to your business. And that's the other side of that coin. Awesome. Uh, Lisa, we got some great comments here. Uh, Alika saying, sounds like an experience and wise woman here. I like what she's saying. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, thank you, and uh, Eric says, systems that allow you to focus on building relationships. So th so that's, that comes from Eric. Uh, so uh, Lisa, w one, one final thing uh, as it relates to a few people we, we both mutually know. Um, so we have the No Excuses coming up in, in less than three months in Las Vegas. Uh, we have tickets that are going to go on sale uh, a little later today. Uh, we have some some individuals you we both know personally uh, that are speaking at that event. Angel Fletcher, oh, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Angel Fletcher, Ryan Higgins, uh, Nadia, uh, and and John Milton, uh, and you know Simon Chan, uh, a, a bunch of others. But okay, you, 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 I know these are all friends. I can't. You know, I can't talk about. No, no, no. But but what I want to say is. Uh, so what do you, what exactly, I mean, is, in as few words as possible, because obviously they have massive businesses, but what, what are they doing that's, you know, what do these people have in common that's so effective with regards to utilizing technology and yet still focusing on, on the fundamental processes that will continue to work? Because, uh, you know, they, they all have differences in how they build, but they're, they're still rocking it. Well, actually, this is, I'm glad you brought this up, because I'm going to start with a caveat and I'll go into individuals. I love events. Fernie knows I love events and I could do six, whatever we're doing here. I think it's kind of a Facebook live, but I'm connected to you through all kinds of technology. I love events and I think they're important, but when you're learning how to use technology, they're more important than ever because again, you know, technology makes you more efficient, more effective. It extends your reach. And if the messaging is correct, that is so awesome. And if it isn't, you just have the opportunity to blow it all up in a bad way in front of a larger audience in technicolor. And, when, and when, the reason that I love events is I believe in leverage. And a lot of people don't really understand what leverage is to a business person. Leverage is time. 
It's not money because you are spending money every day and you're spending money in ways that you don't realize it because every time you waste time, you are spending money you are never going to get back because the most valuable commodity you have is your time. So whenever I have the opportunity to invest a little bit of time and a little bit of money to go hear from people who have invested a whole lot of their time and a whole lot of their money to learn something, I don't miss it. And what you will find with top earners in network marketing is that essentially, if they've been successful for a long period of time, they do the same things. Now, some may do it offline and some may do it online and they may express it differently. But whatever they have figured out in the end, their philosophies and their, their results, happy people staying in business. Now, some people are going to quit anyway. There's three types of people in business. Though in your business and out, those that are closed-minded and are going to quit or never join or never be happy no matter what you do. And you don't have to worry about those. And then there are people that are waiting. They're waiting for whatever they're waiting for. They're waiting for the kids to go back to school. They're waiting for the company to come out with the greatest product you've ever seen. They're waiting for, you know, to open Russia. And that's okay. They can wait. They should wait. It's their business. And the third group is people that are honestly ready to work and ready to go right now. And those are the people that you always want to be focused on and those are the people that you never want to see leaving. And if they are, there's a problem. And the people that have success over the long term, they know how to take hold of those people, inspire them to action, get them motivated, duplicate, replicate, and get an army of people that go out and change the world. Now, whether they, and so now these people have all figured out how to take that which has never let anybody down that has been working in network marketing since the dawn of time and they figured out ways to do it online they have different strategies that all take them to the same place all that involve inspiring people and getting people to follow them and listen to them and, and do replicate them online angel and ryan i've worked with them since the very beginning where they were three years ago where they are today is magnificent and a testament to energy and nobody will outfriend them nobody will outwork them they have done it all on facebook and recently have figured out how to replicate just about everything i've ever done offline online using technology and tools and they're going to be speaking about that john and nadia 18 months ago we were sitting in florida they were contemplating if they were going to leave an event or stay i basically beat them up to change their airline tickets stay at that event get educated i'm gonna you can ask her that when you see her in las vegas and they just had their absolute best month um ever in network marketing it was extraordinary i'm not going to steal their thunder but they can share that with you they're amazing dynamic couple simon um know him really really well started you know just a couple of years ago um a blog a, a video blogger i mean a podcast but uh called MLM Nation. He had a vision of getting top earners from all of the industry and interviewing them and interacting with them so that they could share knowledge. And it was an idea, an idea he was very committed to. He himself was, is, and was a top earner in network marketing. And today I believe it's the number one podcast in the space. And he's just amazing. All these people share in common that they are great givers. They are at the top. They gave of themselves tremendously to the right people. They knew where to invest their time because they want to affect and impact the largest amount of impactors possible so that they can have success. That's why you want to be at this event so that you can demonstrate that you are an impactor. Impactors always want to impact other impactors because that is how you change the world. We'd all love to spend time with reclamation projects, but their time is limited. So they're all amazing people. I'm excited. I'm going to be there. Um, found out for sure that I was going to be there yesterday. I told Freddie that I was trying to work it out my schedule and he told me that I'd already been announced. So this is an old one in network marketing. Better to ask for forgiveness than permission, but put somebody on the schedule and there they'll be. So yes, to the event. Can you tell I'm excited about events? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I've been to so many events this year. It's crazy. And, uh, I mean, I, I just came back from a five day mastermind a couple weeks ago with people that have run $3 million that run $3 million in advertising per month. 
uh, something I've never done. And so if I want to get to that level, obviously that's who I want to be with. Uh, and so, so that's, if people in this space want to figure out or want to get introduced to the best ways for building online, then that's the event that we're putting on. And, and Lisa, I look forward to introducing you to some people you haven't met yet, uh, that are also crushing it in network marketing. Cause you need to know them. Uh, we have, uh, you know, Julie Burke, who's been a star inside of our community and, and created so much momentum in our space. I, I, you know, I think she, she's somebody you definitely want to get to know. Uh, yeah. and, 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 she, and, and she, uh, I mean, she's looking forward to so much to, to getting to know you and, uh, and all our speakers, we have a lineup of about 15 speakers right now, uh, in the, in the network marketing, digital marketing space, direct selling space. Uh, so I'm I'm really looking forward to it, Lisa. So I like digital marketing. That's a lot sexier than internet marketing. Good good recall. Good reading. Oh, that's been rebranded for a while. <laughs> but, Almost out of the loop, I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys. Uh, so if you got watching the recording of this video, uh, then the page you're on should you should be able to find a link to to get your tickets to the No Excuses Summit. If you're watching this live, uh, then hang tight. Uh, in about an, an hour and a half. Uh, we will be sending out an announcement so you guys can get your tickets. Uh, and I'm super pumped. Uh, we've already, uh, within our community, without really promoting it, we've already sold over 130 tickets. Um, and so when we go to actually to the public, we can expect to to sell out really fast. And so I'm, I'm really excited. And thank you, Lisa, for being a part once again uh, of, of the No Excuses Summit, being a part of our community, and, and most importantly, being a mentor of mine. Well, thank you for all that you teach me and making me smile and let me come on a daily dose of awesome and love that name. Wish I could have thought of it myself because I like a daily dose of awesome. For everybody watching, thank you for being here. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you sharing some of it with Fernie and me today. Cannot wait to meet you live and in person soon. And um, I answer all my messages. So if I can ever help with anything, write me and I shall write you back. Have a wonderful night. And yes, she will write you back. So, so thanks, everybody. Have an awesome day. Thank you, Lisa, for being on. And we will see you in Las Vegas at the No Excuses Summit, June 8th to the 11th at the Green Valley Ranch. Take care.